The last weekend in March saw the Deer Stalking Fair 2014 take place at Kelso in the Scottish Borders. All aspects of deer stalking were represented from the likes of rifles, optics, larder equipment, 4x4 vehicles, ATVs and Scott Country International with the night vision and the night vision demo tunnel. Some of the new uh, exhibitors this year were Harkler, Alan Rome, the Stalking Directory and Rovinch UK with their tick resistant clothing. The show attracted many age groups from the younger shooters right up to the seasoned veterans from the south of the border and north of the border. In its second year, the show has proved a big hit, and we caught up with Paul from Scott Country, who spoke to Stevie, one of the show organisers. Okay, Stevie, so this is the first time we've come to the Deer Stocking Fair. How have you found it this year? Busier than last year. Yeah. I can't even believe that in two years it's jumped this high. I mean, the interest in it's phenomenal. There's, there's been an awful lot of people here, a lot more than I was, I was really surprised when people were here. Really I, I quite was as well. So I was in the door this morning, I was busy, I started it. Half past eight, I didn't lift my head at 12 o'clock. Yeah. It was just a constant stream of people coming yeah. in. So, yeah. What do you think of the night vision tunnel on the set? I love it. Here and the so setup's phenomenal. Yeah. I think yeah. your, your stuff's probably... The people have been speaking at the door. It's the most popular thing yeah. at the show, I think. Excellent. Aye, so you're, uh, here, so. I will be kept busy all day. So, uh, aye, I mean, it's uh, just... I think it's great. I really do. And I think it's what people want to see. Yep. And we've got to try and keep expanding into new things every year to try and... It's difficult within the parameters of deer stalking to keep yep. it keep it fresh. Of course, a lot of kit we do is night vision, but a lot of it's thermal imaging. Thermal yep. imaging is very specific for, is. for for deer stalking. A lot of people use them for for picking up um, deer, doing surveys and deer, and also for stalking themselves for for seeing a deer that's in plantation or in cover. So, are you any experience with thermal images yourself? Twenty years ago, the, the the Forestry Commission was hiring these things in to try and count the seek on the borders, yep. and they would look at a, they would look at a wood but they couldn't tell between a rock that had been hit with the sun all day yeah, or whether it was an animal, but yeah. the stuff that you've got now, yeah. you can actually see yeah, what it is you're looking at. Moved on things have moved on so fast yeah. now. Yeah. So the experience I had was 20 years ago. Yeah. So the, the new technology will be yeah. can way beyond me, Absolutely. an old man like me. <laughs> Where's things going with the deer stocking fair? I hear you've a few we're, plans of it. So. We're taking it to Newark on the 15th and the 16th of November this yep. year. And then next year for this venue, we're going to try and push it forward so we can try and put mar more of this, yep. more marquees outside, okay. try and pick up the better weather. We maybe thought of doing an idea next year, having some um, heat sources outside in the yep. lawn and you know, having great. a thermal imager tunnel yep. and having people try the thermal imagers that, that outside. Would, that would well, be so. phenomenal if you could yeah. do something like that. And I think we need to take it outside a bit more. Yep. It's hard when you have traders inside a building and when you draw what people they see as their customers away from them, they Absolutely, start to get a yeah. wee bit yeah. nervy about it. So we're going to have to be careful how we yep. do it. But I think demonstrations outside at certain times, yep. Like Absolutely, now, when yeah. things have quieted down. Well, we could do a time demonstration. That's right. Aye, that's right. And let everyone try them out. No, that'll be great to do stuff like that. That'll be brilliant. Good. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Bother, Steve, man. Thanks very thanks much for talking much. to us. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Thank you. As you heard Stevie say in the interview, one of the big attractions at the Kelso Deer Stalking Fair this year was Scott Country with their latest night vision and thermal images. An even bigger attraction was their demo night vision tunnel where people attending the show could get to use the likes of the latest N750A from Pulsar, the brand new Photon and the new Starlight Arrow rear mounted add-on. The big attraction were the handheld thermal images and with technology moving forward so fast, Scott Country were able to put on some show deals with the Quantum HD38S, FLIR and Guide thermal images. One of the special attractions was the Ticam 750 which for gamekeepers and deer stalkers really does prove how technology can come in and be very useful. Also on show was the brand new Foxfire T20V which was specially made for Scott Country with its variable power switch. Many people had the chance to use the demo night vision tunnel and we caught up with one of the show attendees, a young man who was starting out shooting. All right, Michael, so you've just come along to test a bit of equipment. This is the Pulsar DFA 75. So yep. Have you heard about the Pulsar before? I've done a wee bit of research in it. Yep. Um, look, just here to try it out. Yeah, cool. Yeah, well, we'll go into the tunnel a little bit and, and try it out there. Yeah, so no problem. How you enjoyed the show? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Really busy. Yeah, cool. You nice. came, came any particular reason to see anything? Or? Um, just a, I've got an interest in it. Yeah, cool. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, we'll head to the tunnel. Yeah, on board. I'm joined by one of the organisers of the show. Tell us a little bit of how, how you thought the show went and what, what's going to happen moving forward in the future. Well, 
I, I, I hoped for the show was was even bigger and from what we're told better than last year. The traders uh, certainly did a lot more business than last year, and uh, the crowds seemed larger. We managed to expand on the exhibits as we promised we would, and we had a, a far greater variety of stock-related products there than we did the previous year. So. Moving forward, we hope if we can continue that momentum uh, into 2015, um, we may have to look at expanding the venue itself to accommodate everybody that now seems to want to come along to the, the deer stocking fair. So it's all looking good for the future. That, that's fantastic. And, and obviously you had people there demoing as well. What did you think of the demos? Uh, well, the, to be honest with you, your opinion doesn't really count for much. It's really down to the opinion of the of the visitors, and that's what we base it on. And the the, the feedback so had so far has been has been great. In, in, in particular, to be totally honest, the Scott Country demo with the night vision um, equipment had was was raved about by some guys. They said it was a fantastic um, a fantastic display. It gave them the chance with first hands on first hand experience of the kit. Which, let's be honest about it, is quite an investment, and they were, they were delighted that they could actually handle it at the venue. The butchery demo, the, the, dog, the, the dogs for deer tracking um, seminars, it all went down really, really well with this year, so we're delighted with the feedback that we've had so far. That's fantastic. Uh, appreciate you talking to us, and uh, we'll speak to you again next year. No problem. Thanks. So, with the show being such a, a huge success in its second year, we look forward to the third show, which will be coming in mid-November 2014, and details of that will be found on the Stalking directory and back at Kelso and the Scottish Borders in 2015. Don't forget, for more information, you can visit their website, www.deerstalkingfair.co.uk.